Underlying everything in integration services security is the concept of secure by default. That's one of the four main tenets of Microsoft's Trustworthy Computing Initiative and is one of the primary security features implemented throughout secure SQL Server. So keep that in mind during this discussion. Okay, so support for security in integration services helps protect against many kinds of threats and vulnerabilities, but they boil down to three groups of threat types. The first is the threat of exposing sensitive confidential information to attackers. The second is allowing unauthorized users to access or execute packages. And the third is running packages of dubious origins that contain malicious code. Now, when considering security, you also have to look beyond the package itself. An integration services project could consist of flat and Excel files used for import and export, configuration files with sensitive property settings, and various other support files. So in this course, you're going to learn about some of the integration services features that you can use to protect against these kinds of threats. All right, so let's talk about protecting sensitive information. Hopefully, you've had the chance to create a number of packages in your quest to learn integration services. Think about the information that you've embedded in a package as you've configured control flow tasks and data flow operations. There are a number of potentially sensitive data items that you may have embedded into a package. A database name. That doesn't seem like a sensitive piece of information, but one of the things you have to think about is what kind of information can an attacker make use of? Attacker knows the name of a database. Well, if he or she gets a little toehold into your server, they know exactly what database to go looking for. Okay, usernames and passwords, those are pretty obvious, very sensitive. Connection strings, both because of the metadata that they can contain, like the name of the catalog, name of the server, name of the, name of the database, but also because connection strings can include username and passwords as well. File system locations, things like paths and file names. Again, very useful information. If an attacker knows that you have a C colon backslash customers folder and you store some kind of, of important customer information there, that could be a pretty juicy target. And then there's various server addresses, including SMTP email servers and FTP servers. Think of the problems an attacker can cause if they know more about the servers in your network. And then, of course, just the raw data. OK, so again, usernames and passwords, pretty obvious security problems. But the other items can pro provide plenty of information that a determined attacker can use to find and exploit vulnerabilities in your database, server, and network. And there may be other kinds of information, lots of other sensitive information in your packages, depending on what you consider to be sensitive and the features that you build into packages. So the bottom line is that you need to be concerned about any kind of information that an attacker can use against your resources. All right, now, integration services automatically defines three kinds of information as sensitive. If these are the only locations where your package contains sensitive information, then you're protected by default. Okay, so integration services define sensitive information as the password portion of a connection string. But if you choose a protection level that encrypts everything, the whole connection string is considered sensitive. And then there's any variables marked as sensitive. So you can con configure variables as sensitive. And this applies only to system variables that could or are likely to contain sensitive information. And then task-generated XML nodes that are tagged as sensitive. OK, now, somewhat unfortunately, you have relatively limited control over what integration services considers to be sensitive information. You can't affect its internal sensitivity settings other than what's noted in this list. That means that you can't add anything to the list. It's completely under the control of the Microsoft developer who developed the component to mark a property or other object as sensitive. But that limitation only applies to the default protection level for the package. 
Fortunately, you can do better. And that's where the package's protection level comes in. This setting controls several aspects of protecting sensitive data. The first is whether or not integration services save sensitive data in the package file at all. If it does save sensitive data, is it encrypted? If it encrypts data, how broad is the encryption? And if it encrypts data, does it use a password or DeepAPI for the encryption? DeepAPI is the Data Protection API, which is a part of the Windows Crypto32 encryption API. It's available in all versions of Windows since Windows 2000. And it uses either a machine key or a key tied to the current user for encryption and then safely stores the key deep within a protected area of the operating system. Integration Services handles all of this for you, interacting with DeepAPI. If you select a protection level that uses a user key for encryption instead of a password. All right, now you can set the protection level of your package at design time. Then you can modify the protection level when you deploy, import, or export a package from Integration Services using Management Studio or when you copy a package from one storage location to another using DTUtil. This gives you complete control over the protection level during the entire development lifestyle of the package. Control is a good thing. Okay, now you need to choose the appropriate protection level for a package's protection level property. And here's a list of the available options. If you change the protection to a level that requires a password from a level that doesn't, you'll need to provide a password at the prompt. Okay, the first option is don't save sensitive. So that just removes all sensitive data, what is marked as sensitive, what integration services consider sensitive, it removes it all from the file. At execution time, you have to supply any missing property values, usernames, passwords, connection strings, whatever. All right, so this has a dtutil val value of zero. Second option is encrypt all with password. In this case, it uses this, the, the password that you supply to encrypt the entire package. Access to the package requires a password. Without the correct password, you can't open or execute the package. And the dtutil value for this is three. The third option is encrypt all with user key. This encrypts the entire package with a DeepAPI user key, again, that part of Windows that provides a lot of encryption services. In this case, access to the package is limited to the user who created or edited the package on the same machine. So that's a, that's a limitation. And the DTUtil value here is four that you use with in order to set the, that, this level. Next option is encrypt sensitive with password. In this case, it doesn't encrypt everything, but it encrypts sensitive data using the password that you supply. And you have to supply the password to open the package in SQL Server Data Tools. If the password isn't provided when opening the package, the user has to supply new values for the sensitive data. But execution then fails without the password. And this has a dtutil value of two. Next option is encrypt sensitive with user key. This again uses the DeepAPI user key. Only the original user can open the package with the sensitive data. Other users can open the package, but any sensitive data is replaced with blanks and package execution will fail without that data. And this is a DTUtil value of one. And then the final option is server storage. If the package is stored in SQL Server, it's protected by database roles. Okay, so you have a lot of options and you have to select carefully. Now note about the encrypt sensitive options, those two options in the table. These settings really are as convoluted as the descriptions here imply. And to tell you the truth, I've really never felt comfortable with letting integration services decide what is sensitive and what is not. So I'm way more likely to use one of the encrypt all options when I want to encrypt anything. The performance hit only affects loading the package, which is usually a pretty trivial part of the overall processing of a package.